An Autumn Sunset by Edith Wharton. One, leaguered in fire, the wild black promontories of the coast extend their savage silhouettes. The sun in universal carnage sets and halting higher. The motionless storm clouds mass their sullen threats like an advancing mob in sword points penned that balked yet stands at bay. Mid-zenith hangs the fascinated day <coughs> in wind-lustrated hollows crystalline. A wan Valkyrie whose wide pinions shine across the ensanguined <coughs> ruins of the fray, and in her hand swings high overhead, above the waster of war, the silver torchlight of the evening star, wherewith to search the faces of the dead. Two, lagooned in gold. Seem not those jetty promontories, rather the outposts of some ancient land forlorn, uncomforted of morn, where old oblivions gather, the melancholy, unconsoling fold of all things that go utterly to death and mix no more, no more with life's perpetually awakening breath. Shall time not ferry me to such a shore, over such sailless seas, to walk with hope slain importunities in miserable marriage? Nay, shall not all things be there forgot, save the sea's golden barrier and the black, close, crouching promontories? Dead to all shames, forgotten of all glories, shall I not wander there? A shadow shade, a specter self-destroyed, so purged of all remembrance and sucked back into the primal void that should we on the shore phantasmal meet, I should not know the coming of your feet.